One of the questions I get asked a lot, and it's actually a question that I now need to answer for myself, is should I put a long iron in the bag or should I put a hybrid in the bag? Well, the simple and quick answer to this video is it's up to you. And if you like that video, please subscribe. I'm only joking. It's completely up to you. Um, each of you will have a preference, but each club has a completely different versatility for me. Long iron hybrid off the tee, different height, so it depends on the weather. Long iron hybrid off the fairway, different heights, probably easier to hit a hybrid. Out the rough, hybrid has, the, has it all day long. And then around the green, just those little pots over like difficult bits of turf and you know, like in the winter when the, the, like there's bare patches, the hybrid has more versatility, but it's completely situational. So today I need to decide which one I'm going to put in the bag normally and why I would put the other one in and for what reason. So I'm going to start with the long iron. Now this is 21 degrees, a hybrid is 19. So although they've got a three on the bottom of each one, completely different lofts, yet they will go completely different heights. The hybrid will go higher. Now these are my clubs. These are the ones that have come from Wilson and there will be a what's in the bag to talk about specs. So these are mine. Both of them spec exactly the same shaft in both. Absolutely exactly the same shaft. So why would I have one over the other? Right, wind is now into off the right. So if I put this ball up in the air, the wind is going to affect it. So why would I want a longer iron? Because that is phenomenal. What a shot that felt. It's like, that's literally the first shot I've hit with this. And um, yeah, uh, it's going in the bag. But so that actually went quite high. And what you're getting with these types of long irons now, especially when they're um, designed as a long iron rather than like a bladed three iron or something like that, it's getting help, hollow body design, low weight, low center of gravity, more MOI. So you're getting more forgiveness. And for that shot there, superb, loved it. Right, hybrid. Two degrees weaker loft, more forgiving and easier to hit in my opinion. So which one would I have off this tee? The honest answer is either really, absolutely either, not fast. So much higher, but equally as good. But actually, that's the difference. When we go up there, ooh, not hit this one yet, and it's first strike right out the middle. Maybe that's an omen for this club. This is going to be a middle club. There's a big difference in distance between those two. My eyes have played tricks on me. So I've put the camera level with the T, as in sort of like parallel with the T for distance. This is the three iron here. One. And the hybrid went three yards further, which is really interesting because the perception off the T, and this is where my eyes might need some work on them, is that the hybrid went miles further, but the angle in which I've come up here now They've practically gone, three yards is neither here nor there. That's practically gone exactly the same distance. But if I put the shot tracers next to each other, you'll see there's a big difference in the height, but not as big as I was expecting. But that's because I hit them at full shots. What happens now if I try and hit both of them low? And this is where I think the long iron is gonna come into its own. First things first, let's just appreciate the view of this tee. Best view of from the golf course. Absolutely stunning. And on a day like today, it just doesn't get better. Does not get better. Right, fifth hole then. I'm going to hit the three iron, which is a Swixen ball. But I'm going to try and keep this low. I'm going to try and hit a low draw. Not something I'm particularly good at. But hopefully the shot tracer will show you how low this goes. And then I'm going to try exactly the same shot with the hybrid and show you what the difference is there and why this could be beneficial because don't underestimate the advantage and the power of how far the ball rolls after it lands, especially on a hard Lynx course. So 
So that went quite high, but it's gone arrow straight. And that is just going to run and run and run. That's quite possibly the best shot I've ever hit. <laughs> so now I'll try that with a hybrid. Like this is going to launch more because there's more mass behind the ball. The weight is further back and lower. So can I have that versatility into wind with a hybrid? So that's gone higher. It's gone a bit left, but it's definitely gone higher in the air. Definitely easier to hit, but I felt like I had less control over it because I felt like I've got more control over the long iron. When it comes to trying to steer hybrids, I just get left pull feels all the time. Now that's down to me, but the ball flight was certainly higher. So let's see the difference in where they've actually finished. I know that one went a bit left, but it will still be fine. So I brought this ball over the wall because it was on the left level with it so you can see. So this ball here is the hybrid. This time, one, two, three. And this ball here is the iron. So on this occasion, the iron was four yards longer than the hybrid, whereas on previously the hybrid was three yards longer than the iron. So at the moment it's one each. But I just feel like if this was hard, like, you know, linksy turf that had been cut down to its bare minimum, that three iron would have just rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled, whereas the four, the hybrid, because it's coming from a bit higher, would have rolled, but not rolled as much. So if I was playing a windy Lynx course at the moment, I think I'd prefer the three iron. But if I was just everyday golf, it's always got to be a hybrid. And I'm going to show you why that would be the choice now with some difficult little shots. Right, so I've come to a place where I've actually never been on this hole. This is short of the fairway on that fifth hole. Okay, two balls in pretty, let me just put them in, pretty similar lies, really. So you can't see them from there. I do hope this camera stays so it's not the angle. Um, but they are buried in the rough. Now, would a hybrid get the ball out and will a long iron get the ball out? So from this distance, we are easily 250-ish yards still to go. So I want to be as close as possible because I need to up and down. I've duffed my tee shot, standard. I need to be as far up as possible to try and up and down this. So, iron, tough lie, loads of grass behind the ball. Like I would never in a million years play this shot for real. But if I've only got this in the bag, it would be either this or just a iron out and sacrifice distance. So, can it work? Do you know what? That has absolutely flown out of there. Just on the right side. It's interesting to see how far that's given me in. Okay, so I've put the hybrid in the same spot as where the three iron came out from, which actually came out really well. This hybrid's got a challenge to get out of here. Now I've put this hybrid down, the issue I'm feeling now, because I didn't feel it before, is all that mass is just pushing the grass down and won't actually get through it. So will this just top it? Maybe the iron is the best bet. Oh no, that's flown out. Gone the same sort of way as the three iron. Very similar though, as in, like I can't pick the difference. I actually, when I was over the shot, felt more confident with the three iron than I did the three hybrid, because I felt like the iron would dig through the grass, whereas I felt like this would just snag up and maybe just slip over the top of it. I teach myself a few things here. I went and got those balls, three iron went further than the hybrid. So very interesting. So final test, it's 2-1 to the iron, is off the fairway. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna reach the green, but We'll give it a go. I haven't really measured it. So now this is where, if it's soft, receptible greens, that I'm going to want the hybrid. I want it to come in from a higher height. I want it to land soft. But I've always felt more confident hitting a hybrid off like a tight lie, like a fairway, than a three iron. But that wasn't a three iron. That was fitted for me. This one is exactly fitted for me. So downhill lies, it's going to fade. So we're going to aim left side of that green 
and then try and put a good swing on it. Oh, such a good swing. That's pretty much made it all the way. It's just a bit short, but really easy to hit. Like I've not reviewed this club yet, this um, Wilson, or oh, I have actually, and I loved it. <laughs> I can't remember what I've reviewed and what I haven't, and I loved it, but now I've got one in the bag that's fitted to me. Completely different, absolutely. Okay, hybrid. Really enjoyed that three iron. How's a hybrid gonna do? I don't like these downhill lies, but that three iron really coped with it well. Oh, straight at it, and it wasn't the greatest strike either. Like that's made it, that has made it up onto the green and I didn't really catch that very well and that's where the hybrid comes into its own. As soon as I hit that I was like, I just closed my eyes thinking oh no that's gone right but actually went dead straight with a lovely fade. If I'd have hit that out the middle I'd have said it was a great shot but because I caught it out the heel it actually wasn't a great shot but the, like, the forgiveness, the resilience of a hybrid has saved that. Two very different ways to get up to the green, but I actually felt more confident with the hybrid off that tighter lie than the three iron, even though I hit that three iron superbly. Three iron is there just short of the green, and then if you look up there, that's where the hybrid finished. So actually not a lot in it. Down to strike, that saved me. I'd prefer that over this all day long. That was a good strike, that was a bad strike, and that's where hybrids come into their own is forgiveness. So I think unless you're a good long iron player, just stick to a hybrid. For me, I've got both because it's very situational dependent. If I'm on a fast, windy Lynx course, the three iron's going in all day long. If I'm on a soft Parkland course where the greens are receptive and I can come in from height, the hybrid's going in. Off the tee, not a lot in it, regardless of whether I want to keep the ball high or low. But I think it's it's so situational that I want the run the lower ball flight is going to give me on windy days over the stopping power that a hybrid is going to give me into the green. So in the answer to the question, hybrid or long iron, it's literally down to you, like I said on the first, first minute of the video, literally down to you. Can you afford it? I'd get one of each and have them for different situations like I have, but if you can't afford it, I'd probably just stick to a hybrid if I was an amateur golfer. They've just got more versatility um, and they do help you get the ball up in the air, especially if you've got slower swing speeds. If you're a slow swing speed player, ignore a long iron. You need that speed to get it in the air. As always, if you've liked this video, please do hit that like button down there. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit my logo there and subscribe to this channel. But as always, uh, lots more to come from me on this channel and I'll see you all very, very, very soon.